Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be reviewing the 93 version, so the actual prime card of Icon Marco Van Basten. Now he's going to cost you 1.4 million coins, which is a serious amount of coinage. And really, when you're going to spend over that kind of money, you need to really consider, is this guy worth it? Because at the end of the day, 1.4 million coins is a lot of coins. Of course, if you can afford that, then of course go and buy the most expensive players. But if you're not that rich, to cough up 1.4 million is a lot of money. Now today, only thing I want to do today is just discuss, is this guy worth 1.4 million coins? And I'm also going to discuss how I felt like, was the card enjoyable? Was it good? How did it feel? Now, first of all, I have to say Marco Van Basten, the prime, felt amazing. What a striker. What a poacher. This guy is Suarez on steroids. He is an absolute incredible goal poacher. He is amazing at scoring goals with all parts of his body, whether that be his head, his foot. This guy is absolutely incredible. He's got the height. He's got the strength. He's Stats that stick out more than anything is his attack positioning. He's always there at the right time and he always manages to score you goals every game. Now, of course, he doesn't really have much cons being a 93 rated striker. His pace is fine. You might think 81 acceleration with 85 sprint speed is bad it's not it's perfect and the reason why i'm saying this is because marco van basten is always going to be in the right place at the right time and it just means that he makes full use of that 85 sprint speed and oh my god this guy can score goals from anywhere if you have marco van basten shoot just shoot 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 because i tell you what this guy will score you goals left right and center with that amazing 94 shot and amazing 97 attack positioning so this guy's always going to be there the only con i have for the great marco van basten the only one con is is he really honestly is he really 600,000 coins more than his baby card. That is really what I want to discuss. There is no way that you can come to this video and think Marco Van Basten is not good. He is unbelievable. The guy scores three to four goals every match. I kid you not. And by the way, these all these matches are division rivals, which is not easy, especially when you're not. I'm not really that good FIFA player, but look at that goal. This guy just turned matches like that because he's so clinical. He has no issue getting that ball at the back of the net. Now, of course, heading amazing. Strength is perfect. Stamina is is good. I mean, he can last all match and just keep him in strike. Now, I had this match and I wanted to show you now that is a good team. And I just want to show you what Marco Van Basten did to that team in Division 4. Have a look. So, it's... His heading is great. His shooting is the, one of the best in the game. His attack positioning is one of the best in the game. He's got three-star skills. Is that the end of the world? His four-star weak foot feels absolutely brilliant. So there's not much I can say about Marco. He's absolutely amazing. The only thing I would say is I don't think he's 600,000 coins better than his baby card. That is the only negative I have for this video. Because besides that... If you've got the money, then get him. Honestly, if 1.4 million coins is not a lot of money, get him. But in my opinion, honestly, in my opinion, he's not 600,000 more than the baby card. That is my only negative for the Prime Van Basten. I felt that like he was amazing, but he didn't feel that much better than his baby card. Now, it's up to you if you want to pick him up. He is better. He is better than his baby card, but he's not 600,000 more because his baby card did some amazing things. I mean, just look, check this out. Look at what Marco did in this match. Now, I'm going up against a player who's pretty good. Look at this. Give him a through ball and one touch finish. I kid you not. One touch finish with this man, Marco Van Basten. One of the greatest, most prolific strikers the game has ever seen. Now, this guy had to unfortunately retire at 28 because of an ankle injury. If this guy carried on playing football, he would have gone down as one of the 
greatest strikers ever lived and that is my opinion he is phenomenal and in this game he will always be a massive goal threat because all it takes is one shot and goal I mean take a look at this look at this I do a little bit of build up play and Marco when he's on the pitch he gives you hope honestly he gives you hope all right as you can see he's making a run trying to do some hold up play there he is Marco all right it is it does come off somebody but look at him finding himself in them key areas that's what I mean if the ball deflects he's always there if something happens he's always there so if he misses once he'll go no problem I'll, I'll do it again and I'll score this is Marco van Basten and this is why I mean he is such a dangerous striker in this game look at that run and look at this pace look at the pace he can get away he can get away and there we go ball roll he does do a fantastic job in... Okay, I could have done a better job there, but there's Marco. Marco and Marco Van Basten. This is what I mean. He doesn't miss. He does not miss. So is he worth 1.4 million? Yes, if you got the coinage. But if you're gonna... If you're not that rich like me, you can easily just settle with his baby card and be a very happy person because his baby card does a very similar job to his prime the prime's only got better heading and better shooting and that's it honestly that is it that's all i really see uh, that's all i really saw but as you can see marco van basten scoring three goals in that match a true game changer a true legend a true icon is he foot champs worthy hell yes is he one of the greatest strikers the game has ever seen yes if you had more pace and skills, his price, and I'm calling it now, would be 6 million coins. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and peace out. The only reason you're paying 1.4 million is he lacks pace. He's not in the 95, 96 pace. And if he had skills, if he had 5-star skills, the guy would be 4 million plus. Honestly, jokes aside. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. That's Prime Marco.